We're putting together the first ever album of all John Mackey. First time we heard Red Line Tango, it's like, okay, bring it on. <laughs> I believe in John Mackey very much. I think he's a very gifted composer. He has a really remarkable voice as a composer, and his catalog of music for the wind band is kind of staggering. The amount of music that he's produced, but also the variety of it. For him, his music is continually growing. He's always doing something new. There's a new color, there's a new percussion instrument. In his music, I think I hear somebody who discovers a sound and says, well, let's see what this can do, and he'll shake it and try to tear it up. John's music, I think it runs the gamut of human emotions. At one moment, he can be in your face. It's like being on a roller coaster that's completely out of control. And then the next minute he switches gears and he writes the most achingly beautiful melodies. The Dallas Winds for me is, it's, a, it's an awesome band. The musicians are all-star players. I mean, they're just at the top of their game. It's a living organization. It is um, something that we want to perpetuate. It is our American culture. There's something about just the notion of what this band is in terms of the entire band profession. There's a sound that is the Dallas Wind sound and paired with great music, uh, nothing but great things can come from that. There is no one better uh, conducting wind band than Jerry Junkin. He is the reason I think all of us are here. He's given early performances, if not premieres, of so many of my pieces. Uh, basically, you know, a real champion, uh, and I'm so fortunate that he has you know, decided that he likes me. So I try not to burn that bridge as best I can. Anytime Jerry Junkin and John Mackey are in the same place at the same time, that is the epicenter of the concert band world. No doubt about it. Anybody who's a fan of great trumpet playing, and, and who isn't, uh, it, it will love this album because of Christopher Martin's contribution. He's certainly the best orchestral trumpet player in the United States, at least in the United States. You know, principal of Chicago for uh, quite a few years and now principal of the New York Philharmonic. He's just an astonishing player who can do anything. Oh man, what a player and musician, just incredible. He just changed my, the way I perceived how clear and how focused a trumpet player can be. It's, you know, it's as good as it gets, it's amazing. A lot of people have the misconception that every professional organization has some sort of endowment that funds their organization. The Dallas Winds doesn't. It was started with zero money. You know, it's always a struggle to get our funding, but the wonderful musicianship that comes out of this group keeps us all wanting to go forward, I think. These projects, when we do, are lovingly prepared, incredibly rehearsed, and incredibly recorded sonically, so there is no comparison. So, I mean, they are definitive recordings. Reference Recording is the perfect company, I think, to produce this recording because they have such great integrity about the recorded sound. We started working with them back in uh, 1989, and we've done uh, 21 albums with them. Uh, three of those albums are Grammy Award nominees. No one could make it engineered better than Reference Will. You've got Jerry conducting, you know, arguably the best wind conductor in the world. You've got the Dallas Winds, you know, the best professional band in the country. And you've got recording the Meyerson with that organ, which is like this renowned pipe organ and everything. It's going to be unbelievable. And Chris Martin from the New York Philharmonic. I mean, it's like, it's goofy good. There's some fun rewards with this project. At the $10 level, you get a digital download of the entire album. At another level, uh, you'll get to tune in to an exclusive live stream during the recording sessions from here at the Meyerson. You'll get to see and hear what's going on back in the booth, what's going on here on stage. At the highest levels, you can go to dinner with John Mackey and Jerry Junkin, which is a, a private dinner with them is, is crazy. That's, that's just so cool to be able to offer that. Music in this country, especially these days, is such a grassroots effort that, you know, if, if you even have the slightest interest, you should get involved. Everyone has a role to play, and this is a chance for people to be involved with this. The more you see, the more you start to love it. 
and the more you realize how much value there is in this world. We are defining our art form. This is, this is our moment to be able to say, you know, this is the future. I think it's an opportunity to join a successful team and we want you to be part of that. So um, it's a no-brainer for me.